Champ 101, know your enemy. Champ Life, Great Britain on the fritz. I am your host, Dr. Fritz Oskenik. Today, we will be discussing hunting grounds and mating rituals of the Champ. From Barry Island in Wales to Scarborough in Yorkshire, you'll find chabs in their hundreds swarming seaside tourist spots. Lots of shops selling cheap, tacky merchandise and t-shirts. Lots of chippies and penny arcade galore. Why they ascend these spots in the summer months largely remains a mystery, but most studies believe it is another mimicking gesture, in that they believe they are holidaying. Further study is needed, but infiltration remains an enigma when dealing with loud, yobbish families who communicate in grunts. Easily spotted, they roam in packs spreading chaos and bad dress sense wherever they go. And so, grunt speak becomes the county dialect. If caught in such a place during the summer months, please refrain from asking, could you speak English, please? I don't speak grunt. They become very annoyed. It has long been held in belief that these said tourist spots have been targeted for military strike, as a last resort should their numbers become too large for the economy to deal with, so end in the credit crunch and the drain on society, manners and the living standards of decent, ordinary people. Mating rituals. The mating call of the male chav is believed to have derived from the discourteous builder speak. Calls of get your tits out, suck this bitch, and I'd fuck the ass off you, have long swooned the female chav, and so begins the mating courtship, whereby the male will take a territorial stance, fighting off all potential rivals to his chosen mate that day. He then performs many daring feats of driving, including wheel spins, ridiculous speeds in populated areas, and reckless endangerment of life with loud, booming bass and drum tribal music emanating from the car. Excited by this, the female quickly presents her assets to the male, lifting her top or bending over to show the thong that has long since been wedged between the cheeks of her backside since last summer, and texting sex grunt to the male. The female can breed with up to 40 males during any given summer, in the belief that the strongest male will dominate the essence of her offspring, quickly procreating Asbo, the next generation. Thank you very much. I'm Fritz Oskenik. We'll see you next time for part four. Goodbye.